Oh, well, hello, buddy. Welcome back to another graphic arc video. And uh, you've been asking me a lot to update the video tutorial on how to generate AI images on Windows system. Uh, there's also obviously you can do it on Linux works much better. But uh, today I'm going to show you not this complicated step that I do here. You know, have to install Ubuntu, everything. Blah, blah, blah. No, this is not needed, guys. Now uh, there is everything more simple. So. Uh, what you gotta do, I will leave down in the description below some links to download, but uh, if we go here, this is the things that you will need. So, you will first need to download Git and Python, It's you have to have this version. I will leave the link down in the description below. So, uh, once you install the GitHub, you know, you just click on next, 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 you know, let Git decide everything, just click on next, everything should work. And uh, once you have Git installed, make sure that when you install Python, you go, oh, uh, I can't show you right now, but uh, you need to add it to the pad. There's this small button below there. I'm not sure if, yeah, I can't show it right now, but uh, there is this small button there. You know what, I might as well just uninstall and install again just so I show you how it works. And uh, yeah, this is much simple method, you just need these two things, git and python. And and once you have python here, you just uh, lay, wait, let it first uninstall and I'll show you what you must do. Hopefully you don't need to restart, okay, no restart. So uh, when you install python, make sure you click this, add python 3.2. 10 to pet and you know then you just go press install you wait till it installs and uh yeah okay so now that you've installed git and python what you need to do actually is go to the location you want your uh, ai generation script to be saved and uh scroll down in the description you will have this git clone from github link and all you gotta do is go to the location you want it saved right click there and press git bash here and then what you gotta do is actually paste this inside. So what this will do is actually it will clone your the whole uh, Git uh, script for the AI generation to your computer. So, okay, now this is done. Now what you gotta do, you got here now automatic. You see, this is all the scripts in here, but uh, we need to set some locations, Python location and stuff. So if you press right now this webui.bat file, it won't work. So what you gotta do in the file that it's in the description, there are these two files, webuar user and webuar user .h and .bot. So what you gotta do, just copy those two in here and start this one. I mean, you can run it as administrator if you want, but uh, I guess it doesn't work. So just run it normally. Now what this script will do, it will create when this everything will start and then automatically it will start the as the next script. So what this does now, it will install everything from torch to some other stuff that it's needed for the AI generation and uh, yeah okay do note before you start this process make sure you go to device manager and if you have eGPU disable it otherwise it won't work correctly so uh, make sure this is disabled either in BIOS or in device manager we don't want the iGPU to be rendering if it even renders it it doesn't even render, you will most of the time get an error, so uh, disable this, it's a must have, so we are using the, our Intel Arc A770 or A750 or A380 or A580 or whichever Intel Arc graphic card you have, and uh, yeah, then run the script, which you just copy pasted here into the automatic folder, and then, you know, you will have to wait, you will have to wait lots of time, so... Uh, let me just skip forward. A few moments later. Okay, as you can see, now it finished installing. It's already running on my local IP address. It will be probably the same for you. Uh, here you need to specify all the mothers, etc. But you can do this actually now online inside the control panel. So all good here. But uh, one thing you need to check is, uh, you know, scroll up here. Check if command line RG this RGS uh, is uh, using IPEX and if it's uh, using IPEX it should be here to listed as true and uh, device 
make sure it reads Intel R graphic card. It's so it's not, you know, iGPU, UHD 770 or whatever processor you have that has Intel discrete, not discrete, uh, integrated graphic card. <laughs> so, yeah, that's it. And uh, all then what you gotta do is go, you know, open Mozilla Firefox or with the, whichever browser you have. You go to this URL and what's up? You are now inside SD next uh, UI and now you can actually start generating, you know, okay, you actually need to have models and everything downloaded, but uh, guys, we have some models here that you can download. So, uh, you know what, let's just maybe try, uh, I'm not sure which one. I guess it doesn't really matter. Juggernaut Reborn, what, what is that? Uh, you can go to Hugging Face and download the models you want, but uh, you know what, let's just, for the sake of this tutorial, download uh, Dream Shaper. Yeah, let's go Dream Shaper. So if everything is working correct, you see base model, now it's processing, it will take some time. If you want more details, what's going on, you just open here, where you was, we use the script to start the... AI generation script and as you can see it's downloading here the Dream Shaper 8 save tensor file. So what you just gotta do obviously is wait till this downloads. So uh, we will first wait this and uh, maybe design later on an image or two with a I mean generate not design. Huh? Now we are generating not designing guys. <laughs> but uh, yeah then you have lots of models here browsers etc but what you will be using is obviously the text prompt. No? So <coughs> I usually <coughs> oh, pass. sorry sorry guys I am a bit sick but okay. I usually use this with most of the AI generated image sample steps usually waste 20 I mean the waste it's in our local language 20 but yeah uh, 20 here it really depends which safe tensor you are using so uh, just read the description of the model which settings are best to be used and uh, yeah that's it I mean I will set this one at 20 we will be generating uh, what kind of image maybe this kind of image or uh, 10 Let's try to generate a little bit higher image there. <coughs> 512 by 512. <coughs> oh my god. Let me drink some water before I uh, dehydrate or how do you say. But uh, yeah, come on. Download, download Dream Shaper, come on. So we might as well just... Uh, I'm really not sure what this Dream Shaper is doing, so uh, I don't know. Let's go Avatar uh, Agent uh, Waterfall bear, High Quality 4K uh, Colorful Nature. You know, I'm not sure. So, okay, now that it finished downloading, we can select it up here. And you know, let's just uh, press generate and see what we get with this input. So if everything is working fine, you will see the progress here. How fast it generates the image. Okay, it obviously needs some time to load the safe tensor. But once it loads, it will start to generate, as you can see. Sometimes it can be higher, lower. It really depends on the resolution. So if I put lower resolution, you will see it will generate much faster than only like two per second. This illumination of oh, my technical knowledge for AI generation is not that good. So I'm not sure what some of the stuff mean here. But uh, yeah, it's basically how fast it's generating the image. So, okay, let's see now. We should be finished. Ah, not bad, not bad. So look guys, now if we go lower resolution and render this, uh, it should work faster. Let's see, let's see, we can check here now. Here is the average, wait, somewhere should be written. Eh? Average, see, is generating much faster now and even better screen than before. Now what if we, let's say, like Intel Arc graphic card Buried. Let's generate and see if this model can do anything. But uh, no, there's no Intel Arc. 
<laughs> but okay man that's it for this video it's much simpler way now to actually run the AI generation tool on your Windows it's a bit slower than on Linux obviously but uh, for some quick AI generated images that you need for I don't know blog post maybe you want to post something I don't really depends uh, should be good enough right uh, maybe I will make a Linux tutorial in the future but uh, yeah, play around with some of these uh, stable diffusion models if, if you want to. And uh, that's it. Uh, okay, let me just quickly show you. I also have one more script here. So if we close this one, now if you press generate, it should be giving us error. Well, no error, but okay. Uh, if I go to desktop here, I have here web UI script. It's a different one as far as I know. But, or it's an older w version of uh, the Vladmantic automatic uh, <coughs> script. So uh, yeah, I have some other stable diffusion models here, but it seems now that it's downgrading some of my uh, stuff because I'm using an older version in my previous script. So uh, yeah, okay. I might as well not show you the new generated images because, uh, eh. uh, yeah, so uh, once this is done, you can uh, always just launch your uh, AI generated generation script via this script. So uh, you just maybe go to send it to desktop and run from there. Or if you want, you can also send web UI but to the desktop and uh, but then you must be uh, certain that uh, you are using this use IPEX in the launch uh, command. So yeah, it should be like this. Sorry. Yeah, you must be using this here. Because here, if I show you now in Web UI user bot, we are forcing this uh, command line to be always used once we start this uh, file. It also checks or sets the Python location, Git location, and then dir location. And once this is everything is done, it will call Web UI and then it will obviously start your uh, AI generation tool just like it did here. So. Uh, you know what, I might be actually using this one, so I will just copy all the models that I have in my other, in my other location. So if we go here, see users, agent, automatic, models, stable diffusion. Okay, see, I got some stable diffusion here. So uh, let's just say, uh, I think this one is uh, anime-like. Let's just check it out quickly before we finish this video. You just copy it inside here into the models. Then you go back here, refresh. And if everything is working fine, then uh, it should be here. No, it's still copying or what? Yeah, probably still copying it there. No, it should be there. Come on. Oh, maybe... Uh, yeah, you just press on refresh, then you change the model. It will take some time to, for it to change. Here you can see all the details. So now, see, now it's loaded. Everything is good to go. And now if we do like kawaii cat ear woman uh, old uh, Japan city cherry blossoms. Uh, okay, let me just set here this upscaling method. Maybe we can use a bit more for this one. Uh, we can also do some batch sizes. So if you want more images to generate at once, you just do these batch sizes here. And then you press on generate. And obviously then you have to wait till it's done. But uh, should be pretty quick. Oh, what's it doing? What's it doing now? It's generating cats. Maybe I screwed up because uh, kawaii cat ears woman old Japan city. Let's see what it will generate now. Still cats. <laughs> Lots of cats. So what if... Ah, let's go! <laughs> that one was looking good. <laughs> uh, okay, this is not anime-like, but I mean it. <laughs> Anyways, guys, <laughs> that's it for this new video.
Sorry if it took a bit longer. I wanted it to be under 10 minutes, but it will probably be around 20 minutes long video. But once you have everything set up, you are good to go to start generating. Uh, arc, let's go. Arc blue, colorful background winter. Let's see what this will make. Uh, if it makes a good background for my cover, I will use it. Uh, uh, oh. oh, wait, it should be arch. <laughs> Not arc, I guess. <laughs> Let's see. No, come on. <laughs> okay, no, you get it really. It works now. Uh, just download your mothers, whichever you have. I have lots here. I mean, okay, this one. Let me just check if this anime, this one is really good, guys. This one. AOM. But I think... It's more of an adult rated anime uh, a model, but uh, let's just check. Just one last generation, so we see that everything is working fine. We, we generate what? Japan, Tokyo, City, Cherry Blossom, Woman, Cute, uh, Cat Ears. Okay. Let's see what we know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, okay, this one is the one that I wanted to show. Yeah, see, I mean, the, the drawings like this are really trained well. Making realistic uh, images is harder than obviously making like anime related drawings or uh, other stuff, but uh, let's write here Dragon Ball Goku Cute Cat Ears Kamehameha. Huh? What will it generate? Let's see, what will it generate? Yeah! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. This is it for this video. See you in the next one. Peace out.